Hello guys, uh, in this video I would like to explain about um, the mannequin dial test and python. Uh, before this video, I have done two videos. Uh, one video, oh, video was about uh, the overall and general theoretical background of mannequin dial test and which video we, we call MK test. And uh, in that video, I have covered the topic like uh, what is mannequin dial test, who developed this test, what are the assumptions of this test, and what are the implications of this test, and what uh, is the test statistic and the standardized test statistic and how we, we can interpret uh, the result. I mean, there are some terms we need to, to understand. So if you know, if you don't know about these things, then you run this test in Python and R, and you get some output, you will be unable to explain, um, you know, uh, fully the output of your MK test in Python and R. So that's important to know about the theoretical background and the terms which you are using in this test. So if you don't, if you have missed that video, the link is given in the description of this video. You can just click and you can see what is meant by this test and for which purpose you can use and which area this test is used effectively. And the second video I have done uh, implemented Mankan dial test in R and the code is also given uh, online and the link is given in the description of that video. And if you'd like to know, uh, if you are interested in MK test in R, the description is given in uh, the link in, is given in the description of this video. So just click and you will see, you will you will access that video about, uh, you know, in which I explain in detail Mankan dial test in R in R studio. So this video is about uh, the Mankan dial test and Python trend analysis and Python. So let's see how we can do um, MK test uh, and Python. Okay, so this is some, uh, we will see, uh, uh, I implemented this with two data sets. So the first thing you know, you should have this is uh, PyMainCandal, this is a package and Python library, you need to import this. And uh, if you have not installed this, first you need to write here, uh, pip pip install and then this library and then run so you will see you can run this just like pip i have already installed however install and then you can write copy the name of this library of course from here you can do like this okay just copy here and write here and you will see Can you run this and then you will see, uh, I have already installed this just for you and then you will see there's some instruction and that's about, uh, or is the menu and that's okay, that's is okay. Uh, not, you may need to restart the kernel to use updated package. So you can inst uh, update kernel from here from the menu consoles. And then just look and restart kernel. So you will see, yes, I'm sure, yes. Okay, well, I would like to restart it. And it is starting the kernel. So that you need some time to do that because uh, then you can use you know, the updated information. So this is a new thing for you. I mean, some additional things. Okay, now let's do this. And uh, this is for plotting the data because I want to plot the data as well. So you need to do this. You, you already know about this because I have done multiple videos about this. NumPy is to generate the data and some other thing as well. So let's generate the data, run the data. And okay, this is my data now. And by the way, before running um, MK test in Python, uh, just like I have done in R, I need to plot the data to see the trend, whether the trend is uh, decreasing, I mean, there is downward trend or upward trend, okay? So you can do this to plot the data. So just now we need to, we are just going to plot the data and this is just to generate the time, uh, create the time axis and then plotting the data, the whole data just run this together and you will see. Okay, ah, uh, yes, after, uh, yes, remember after starting the kernel, you need to upload, uh, import this package again. So let's do this. Okay, I have done this now. So I need to plot this data. Um, this I need to plot this to show 
what the trend look like. Uh, look at this, it's nice. Look at this. This is increasing trend, of course, uh, and this is look like strong increasing trend, uh, upward and increasing trend in this data. And now let's try to run MK test in Python. So this is now perform the main condal test. So this is the command you can use the function you can use uh, on this data and you will see the trend that will be aligned to this because the trend is of course increasing and it is strongly increasing. I just run this command and you will see okay so now the results are stored here. The results are stored in a result and now print the results. Okay that's nice. Uh, Min can dial test. Okay trend increasing. Uh, it's true. This, these things are given at the end. If you are interested to learn this trend, this, these are given here. Understanding the output, so you can see here what is mean by each trend. Uh, uh, we are interested only in that. Okay, the p value is 0 0.003. That is uh, mean that is significant at 5% level of significance. And z the standardized. Uh, this these things I have discussed in my first video, and the link is given in the description of this video. So. Z is the standardized test statistic for many conductors that is 3.5777 and so on. So that is, uh, you know, a positive trend. There is no negative sign with the value of Z and its value is strong enough. And because the value show the strength, the magnitude show the strength and the sign show the direction. I mean, minus mean downward, plus mean upward. So this is plus, this mean this is upward trend, increasing trend. And you can see the other thing as well, tau, that is, um, you know, the uh, non-parameter correlation coefficient, and you can also use this for trend. And I have explained this also in the previous two videos. And S is, uh, is equal to 41, variance of S is equal to this one, and slope is this one, and recipe is this one. So you can see, you can, you can, you can learn this thing, which are mentioned here. Uh, here, these things I mentioned here, and by the way, this code, uh, is available online and the link to this code is given in the description of this video so you can go click on the link and just download this or copy this code and you can uh, implement this code uh, for your data just change uh, you know the data uh, or just read the file i have done a separate video on how to read uh, csv file and uh, python so you can go and you can watch that video and then you can read your data and do their perform the main conduct test on your own data and you can learn these trends which is given here uh, at the end of this video these are something okay this is one data with the increasing trend now i have another data and as we have done this once we do need to import these two again uh, now just doing this data time series data with decreasing trend now just generate this data and now create the time axis that's okay and then plot the data uh, okay, just do this and you will see how the data look like. Wow, that's nice. It's very nice. And yeah, this is a strong decreasing trend that is downward trend, you can say, decreasing or downward trend. So now perform uh, MK test and then print the result and see how it look like. Okay, the result are stored now in the result and just now print the results. Yeah, that's okay. That's now we have these are the results. The p value is 8.300 and e raised to the power minus 0 0.5. So that's much lesser. And z is equal to minus 3.935. So that is now, you know, the magnitude is also strong like the previous, more, previous, more stronger than the previous 3.935 uh, with the negative sign. So that's mean the trend is downward or decreasing with this magnitude, this strong magnitude. Tau is equal to minus one. Oh, oh, you know, in the previous one, that was something 0 0.9 something. You can see the results here. Still the results are here. So tau is equal to 0 0.91. That was positive trend. And this magnitude is much stronger because then the line is, you know, decreasing trend is stronger. Uh, tau is equal to minus 1, s is equal to 45, and variance of s is this one, and so on. So you can see uh, z is equal to minus 3.5, uh, minus 3.935, and p value is less than 0 0.05. This is significant trend, down, significant downward trend. And the previous was one, the previous one was upward increasing trend. So this is a 
and about uh, how we can implement MK test in Python for testing trend in the data. Uh, this test is really applicable in the areas of climate science, hydrology, environmental science, where we have less data, we have extreme values in the data and outlier in the data. So this test gives robust results. And you can implement this in R and Python. And this is the third video of the series. So uh, if, you are, if you are interested in R, you can implement this in R. If you are interested in Python, you can just implement this in Python. And of course, the first video is common that provide the theoretical background and the interpretation of the test. So that is important. Uh, if you are interested, you must watch that video. So I think this is enough for today and see you in the next video. Ciao.